Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my long-awaited apartment slash dorm tour, whatever you guys want to call it, for my place in Washington, D.C. while I'm here for the summer at my internship. Um, and I'm filming this because I know I'm not going to be staying here very long, like only two months, but I know a lot of people are going to be moving in to this as an actual dorm for their full college year. Um, since I am staying at a college in Washington DC. So I figured I would put this up on my channel as a little reference for any of you who are going to be calling this your home for the next like nine months. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the video. And since I may not have mentioned this before, I am staying at George Washington University. So this is what you see as soon as you walk into my apartment. It's just a little hallway through the kitchen. There's a bathroom off to the side and then in the front is my living area. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you walk in. I'm not really gonna show anymore at the door because it has a placard on it with my room number. Don't really want you guys to know exactly where I'm staying, but a pretty decent entryway. So as soon as you walk in, you have your refrigerator right by the door, up at the top, a lot of decent storage. You could easily put like a bin or something up there. Um, and then you have your fridge down here, um, really decent uh, freezer space, as well as a really large fridge with even fruit bins down there and all of these side storage pockets, so really nice. And then our kitchen's a little messy, so don't look at it too closely but you have a pretty decent sized kitchen space. We have your sink over here. I have my little like coffee station there. Um, we have a gas stove, I believe. Uh, and then down here we have the oven and then a lot of really decent storage areas. You got your microwave over here, a lot of good countertop space. And even down here, there's also space. So pretty good, that's easy to put all the things you need there and if you guys are avid cookers you definitely have the space to do that in this little kitchen and right off the kitchen we have the bathroom so it's not the cutest thing ever but it's definitely all you need so opening the door it comes with these little installed towel hooks which is really convenient you don't have to buy command hooks and then you come into a pretty decently sized bathroom honestly the floors are not super pretty they do require quite a bit of cleaning but not that bad. You have these built-in towel hooks. You got your normal toilet over here, um, our little trash can. <laughs> um, then you have all of this down here, quite a bit of storage space. Obviously you could add in like little cute divider things. You have your sink area, a decent amount of like getting ready space here. Like I don't really get ready in the bathroom as much. I do it at my desk, but decent. And then your mirrors. <laughs> Hello all, it's me. Um, and then you also have a mirror over here that opens up and you have like a little cabinet here. I just keep all my vitamins and like facial stuff in there, but it's nice little hidden storage. And then the shower is right here. It has this little like sliding thing, a decent shower nozzle, and then a pretty good size. This is the only um, shelving they have in there. So you have to put all your stuff on the floor or like get something that would hang over your um, spout, but it is what it is, it's nice enough. Um, the only thing I would recommend is getting some type of like towel or something here because the water leaks out uh, quite a lot, so just keep that in mind. But yep, that is our little bathroom. And now we get to the fun part. So we're walking through the hallway and we're getting to the actual bedroom space. Over here we have our closets. They're both exactly identical. So I'm just gonna show you mine. I just went ahead and put these little pictures on the door. I printed them off from Pinterest to kind of give like cute vibes in this, you know, basic colored dorm room. So I like that. So when you open it up, you have a good amount of space. I obviously don't have that much with me just because I'm here for two months, but I can clearly hang quite a bit here. So pretty nice. And then there's this rack up here for shoes. I couldn't fit like any luggage up there, but just enough. And then I put some hats there and my little going out purse. And then down at the bottom, there's quite a bit of room. Like you could put storage down there as well. So I put my work shoes and then I found this to be a good trick. I hang up my outfit for the next day on this little door hook. So that makes it a lot easier for me in the morning. But yeah, the closet space is definitely decent. 
and then really quickly over here it comes with a little dining table with two chairs i currently have my steamer hooked up to it because obviously i have to steam my blazer and everything in the mornings but this is kind of a nice space obviously you can use it just to like lay your clothes on or something but you can have breakfast there kind of whatever you want to do so that's a nice little addition to your apartment and now we're in the bedroom side here is my half i'm not going to show you my roommates because it's the exact same but I think I was able to make it really cute. Again, only here for two months, so didn't really bring a lot of decor, but definitely gets the job done. So I'll start over here at the window. We don't have a cute view, but whatever. And then down here, I just have a few little things like little pictures and a little sign, kind of sweet. And then down here, there's a large cubby space. So I stuffed all my laundry back there and then like my luggage bags. So just ignore that, it's kind of spilling out, but making the best. And then it comes with this little clip-on side table. It's really nice. Like I can put my drinks there or my laptop there and my phone while it's charging at night. So really, really nice. And then I have my clip-on fan. And then I have my bed. I just brought this fuzzy blanket from home. It's really cute. It's like peach and pink pastel colors. So it's really fluffy. Using this as like my comforter. And then I just brought some of my like plain blue sheets that I use for my apartment during the year, but works for now, it's good enough. And then down here we have pretty decent storage. I had a little bit of a hard time when I first moved in because it was getting off the tracks, but I don't have much to put in here. But a lot of storage space, definitely. So this is just like my workout clothes and pajamas, but you get the idea. So I really like that. And then up here, I did a little DIY. I got some string, printed out more pictures, and clipped them onto the hooks. So I really like how this turned out. It made my room much cuter than just these bare walls. So I just have like a lot of really sweet looking prints from Pinterest. You guys can just kind of look up random things and you'll find kind of like what your aesthetic is. And then I did the same thing with some extra over here as well as around my closet. And then I made these little prints uh, that I hung on my wall just to again make it a little cute so I love that and then coming over here at the end of my bed I have a lot of just really random stuff there's like my backpack that I don't bring to work it's just full of stuff I needed to travel this I have to return to a gift shop this is a gift I got my boyfriend these are boxes that I'm gonna send some stuff home in in a few weeks this from when my boyfriend got me that bouquet of flowers this is my briefcase work bag and then back here we have more storage okay and now we're at my desk space so really quickly you guys will see that i have more of those photos hung up i really like it brings my room to life highly recommend um and then we come down here and we have my actual desk it's pretty spacious so i'm really happy about that it comes with this black desk chair it's really comfortable actually so i was pretty surprised then you go down here and I just have a little trash can. I'm using shopping bags instead of buying trash bags. So a little hack there. And then you come down and I keep some of my books back there and just any other miscellaneous bag that I need. Um, there's quite a bit of space in these cabinets actually. So you can put a lot back there. And then this drawer, I just keep makeup in it. They're all pretty deep. So I was able to fit quite a bit. And also a little hack, if you have any extra boxes from moving in, you could cut up the cardboard and kind of like tape them in to make a makeshift um, divider so I was able to do that pretty proud of myself not gonna lie and then up here it comes with a little lock in case you want to kind of put some more private things away I obviously don't have a lock on it but I could buy one put it in here and then we'll open it up and it has really decent storage again I did that with the cardboard um, but I just have like my grocery list in here nail polish different like just random things that I need for my desk so I'm really enjoying that extra space. And then up here is my actual desk. I have my pictures turned around because my boyfriend like doesn't really want to be in my videos at all. So more power to him. Um, and then you come over here and I have this light. It comes with these little, um, what do you call them? Like little storage areas, which has been really nice for like bobby pins and makeup products. And then it comes with two little USB hook things so I can charge off of there. And then I have my laptop here just plugged in. It comes with also little outlets attached to the desk, which is nice. And then just pens, little memorabilia. I have this, this picture of me and a dog, um, like my rings and stuff on there. And then I have this really cute jewelry holder I got at Target, I believe it was like $10. 
and it's also a mirror, so I love that. And then my water bottle, you all know I drink a lot of water, and then just like really random stuff on there. But that is my desk. And then up here really quickly, I have this hook where I keep my necklaces. I used to have one that had uh, diamonds on them, like diamond hooks, like fake diamonds obviously, but it started to fall off the wall, so I just used this like classic command hook, really simple, pretty easy, so really like that. But yeah, that is my desk space in like a two minute little rundown. All right guys, that is going to be the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it'll make you want to like and subscribe down below. Maybe even leave me a comment. I'd love to meet my subscribers. Um, and again, I will be posting this video probably more of when I move out because that would make me way more comfortable posting where I live. Um, but I'll leave all the description on where exactly I'm staying down below. So again, if you are moving in here, it'll be way easier for you to kind of get a feel of the space and what you can expect when you move into George Washington University housing. So thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Got some really cool ideas for your own room and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.